Hello, Edwin. Good evening, Obed. Hello, good Julio. Teacher. Teacher, good evening. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? I'm yeah, fine. So fine. Teacher, okay. yo estuve unos problemitas ahí, pero ya vamos a poner al día. Al okay. sentí un par de días, pero ya vamos a, a meterle con más ganas ahí. All right, Obed. I hope so. Uh, remember, sí, yo... this, this is the second week. The second week, and uh, you know, well, actually, we are at the middle of the course, right? So, do me the favor to to get into the class uh, as frequently as possible. Okay, Obed. Uh, hello, Julio. Hello. Hello. Okay. Good evening and welcome. Teacher, igual, igual que Obed, yo he tenido igual inconvenientes, pero igual me va a poner al día porque he tenido clases de la universidad, entonces para hacer me ha sido difícil. Ok, Pero Julio. He estado como oyente nada más. Ok. Ok, I hope that you can um, uh, try not to miss any class, ok? Because that's uh, quite important. What about you, Edwin? Is everything all right? Yes, teacher. Tuve problemas ahí con la conexión, pero ya estamos de vuelta. Thanks. Okay. So let us wait a, a little bit so that the rest of the people got there. Yeah, I can see oh, Jennifer got into the class, okay? Jennifer, Julio, Obed, and Edwin. Luis Reyes got into the class now. So we're gonna we're gonna start in a in a couple of minutes. Hey, meanwhile, uh, we wait for the rest of the people. I don't know if you have something uh, to tell to tell us about homework. Yo tuve un contratiempo ahí, teacher, pero voy a estar tratando de, de estarla haciendo en el transcurso de la clase. Okay. Okay. Um, well. Igual yo, teacher, este... Voy a poner el día en, en, en lo que va la clase y unos compañeros ahí me van a ayudar también, así que ya vamos a, a poner listo ahí. Ok, I hope so. I hope so. I have Juan Carlos there. Luis Reyes, good evening. Hello, Jennifer. So, do me the favor to activate your camera. Remember, it's quite important, right? So that we can we can interact um, in a class in a better way. Okay, today Friday, right? Today Friday, and uh, it's the last day. Uh, I mean, for is the this is the last class of the week, right? Well, I hope uh, I will I will start with the with the class, okay. Okay, people. Well, actually, you had a homework, right? About a double H question words. Yesterday we were talking about daily routines. Uh, what do you remember about the yesterday class, people? What do you remember about yesterday's class? We started about occupations, right? Software engineer, human resource specialist, financial analyst, Insurance agent, bookkeeper, a digital marketing manager, etc. Right? You also, well, you presented a lot of uh, occupations yesterday. 
and also professions, right? Well, um, you know the days of the week, right? So this is very simple, right? I was just uh, seeing um, a video you sharing with Sam, and I saw that <laughs> it is important to, to, to practice the days of the week, okay? Which are the days of the of the week, people? Edwin, what are the what are the days of the week? In English, of course. Uh, number one, uh, I I care up uh, forty five p I am. Uh, okay. Over here, we need to, to oh, see, oh. yeah, the days of the week. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, and Monday. Monday. Uh, Thursday. Tuesday. 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 Okay. And... Monday, no, uh, no, no, no. Monday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. 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 All right. Monday, Tuesday. And. Um, okay. Monday, Tuesday. What is what is the next day? I don't know, remember. <laughs> you don't remember about the days of the week? So don't worry. Monday, okay. So... Don't worry because oh here we have Monday, right? Yes. Monday. Oh there there's no any problem, right? I will type it again so that you, you don't forget it. Monday number two. Thursday. No, you say Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, then. Where's the third day? We have Monday, Tuesday. What about this one? Um, when Wednesday. Wednesday. Saludos, teacher. <laughs> hello, 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 Luis. Good to see you in the class. Wednesday. Okay, now, jueves in English. Thursday. Okay, that is thurs Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Uh, no lo puedo producir. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Then, um, now, Friday. Friday. Saturday. 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 And, and the Sunday. last one? Sunday, Sunday. right? I don't I don't know remember the miércoles in English. Wednesday, right? Wednesday. So here. Okay. Wednesday. Okay, so this is part of well, we we studied about this the last time, right? Okay. Right now we are just uh, having some review. You also uh, talked about your information, your own information, and also about your partner's information. Yesterday you were working in a conversation, right? We started about just the questions. Uh, with simple present. And uh, this is some, something new, right? Production. Okay, over here we have a, some vocabulary related to different departments in a workplace. Okay, production, research, development, purchasing, marketing, 
human resources management, accounting, and finance. Okay, if I if I go over it, I have production. What would be no, where would be number number one over here? Production. Okay, I'm all ears. I want you to I, I want you to tell me about what's all production. Right. Uh, control and supervisor the production, work, fire, work force and inventory. So number one, did you say? Okay, number yes. one, it's over here then. Okay, the in production and the, the in the production de department, well, people control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Okay, number two. Research and development. Uh huh. Research and development. Uh, develop and design new or improve it existing production on process. Okay, that's research and development. So that's number two, right? What about number three? Purchasing. What's the meaning of that word, purchasing? Hello? Purchasing? What's the meaning, people? Question and identify what customer want and need at the right place. That is purchasing? Did you get the meaning of this word, purchasing? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's for purchasing people. Hello, hello, hello. El cinco no va en la dos, porque habla de recursos humanos y allá está hablando de, de reclutamiento, algo así. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, that's what we need to, to discover. Okay, so, for example, Henry, right, says that a teacher, it doesn't belong to this, right? To this, um, it doesn't match, right? Because he said, human resources management, develop, design new and improve existing products and processes. Uh, okay. So it's not over there, right, Henry? But over here. Okay, thank you. Now, what about the next one, people? Purchasing, right? Okay, right. You should look for the for this word purchasing. When do you purchase? Did you get it? Did you get it, people? Adquisition or adquirir? Yeah, that's right. So that's purchasing. So what would be the best option over here? Which um, with which part matches with purchasing? Okay, purchasing. Buy, buy and I, I carry raw material, the production, equipment, etc. for the use the organization. Okay, so that's number four, right? Product, 
uh, I mean, buying oh. acquired raw materials, production equipment for, et cetera, for the use of the organization. Okay, what about number five? Human resources management. Uh, Richard and identify what customer want. I need, uh, no, 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 no. What they need at the right place? Uh, yeah, yes. Okay, so that's purchasing. No. No, no. Purchasing is uh, uh, buy and a uh, duty. Number three. Uh, yes, number three is not number four. So number three. Yes. Okay, buy and acquire raw material, production equipment, et cetera, for the use of the organization. That's number three. Then what about number four? Number four. And the, 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 the whole design, design new price. or in price existing production and process. Products or process. That is marketing. Number four, right? Develop, design, new or improve an existing one. Products or processes. Number five, human resources management. Okay, number five, human resources management. Uh, this is the, the rec recruit, select and try new employees for... Uh, I, I actually for we the, only have for... like two, right? Two options. Research mm -hmm. and identify what customers want and need at the right place. That's the first. The second one, just to finish, is keep the financial record and transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Number five. Number five, but number one, five was already taken, right? No, a no. human uh, resources management. Uh, well, uh, the research is it, is it? Uh, identify what customer. Uh, creería que ese sería. Uh, Mm -hmm. Human resources management, you say that this is over here, right? It belongs to this exercise. Human resources management, identify what customers and in, in, in need and in, the, in the right place. So, accounting and finance? With a financial uh, record of transition involving monetary and flows and outflow. Inflows and outflows. Okay, number five. Number six is what's already taken, if, if, I know, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, I have five two times, you see. Five, five over here and five over here. And we're still missing one. Accounting and finance. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is the number five, six, excuse me. The, um, this one is number six, this one. What number is this one? Production. 
Ah, no, no, I mean, what is what is the occupation for this research and identify what customers want and need at the right place? Can somebody help me with this? Let me see the chat. Okay, Carla is over here. Okay, welcome, Carla. I noticed. I I know about your problem now. We only have number six, right? So this is accounting finance. Don't you think that's about keeping the financial record of transactions? Teacher. The, the number five is this ratio. In okay. Event. And in this one no, is no, number six is quit the final record and transition in volume monetary and flow and all flow. Inflows and now flows. Okay. Yes. So that, that is number six, right? In accounting and finance. Okay. Did you get it? Uh, No sé cómo decirle, pero a mí más me parece que el, el número 2 donde dice, quiero ver, quiero decir, en development, va en, el, en donde dice, no sé cómo dice la primera, en identity, what Kuzma. Para mí que ahí va en el 2 porque está hablando de identificar. Sería como de cambiar, pero iba así lo entiendo. ¿no? Primero el 2, después el 5. Pero no sé. No estoy bien seguro, pero más me parece que va. Ok, so let's do something. Let's continue investigating, right? Actually, you're, you almost uh, got it. But... Okay. Yeah, do me the favor to keep studying. To keep studying this info. Donde, donde está el número dos sería número cinco. Uh, Select and train new employer. Porque está hablando de... Human de recursos humanos. Resources. Resources. Mm -hmm. Como reclutamiento de personal. Sí. So that's number five over here. Five, five. Yes. Okay, number five. And what about this one? Researching and identify. Number two. Eh, no, number four. Marketing. Marketing. Porque But they want, okay. So it, de... that, sí. it makes sense, right? Sí. Yeah, marketing it refers to researching, uh, uh, researching and identifying what customers want and need at the right place. Marketing. So number five is all right. Number six, keep the finance, financial record. Oh. Number seven, control and supervise the production workforce and inventory. Number one. So it remains production. Okay. Then we have number four, develop, design, or improve existing products or processes. So we have four two times, right? Four over here and four over here. So it cannot be possible. Number two. Number two, okay. develop to design new. Number two, then you say number two. Okay, now yes, number two. Number three, purchasing by, okay, now yes, right? So we got it. I think we got it, right? And it makes sense. Now, did you get it? Yes. Okay. So,
what well, yesterday also I told you about um, investigating a, a, a double H question words. Now we know how to create just no questions with simple present, right? So you see, I get up at six, but I don't, but I, uh, you see, I go to bed at nine. So those are uh, statements in simple present. I go to bed at night. I don't go to bed at 10, et cetera, right? So, but over here, okay, what I want you to do, I will stop sharing over here. Now you are gonna work in, uh, but now it will be individual work. Vamos a trabajar de manera individual. La última vez que hicimos grupos nos sacó algunos. Entonces nos vamos a quedarnos en, en, el, en el, la reunión general. Y vamos a hacerlo de manera individual. Okay. ¿Qué van a buscar ahorita? Double H question words with simple present. Or in simple present tense. Double H question words. Double H question words with simple present. Okay, so this is what you're gonna look now. And well, try to provide as many examples as possible. Okay, vamos a asignarle 10 minutos a la búsqueda de eso, todo lo que puedan encontrar en la red referente a la double H question words importa. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que con la información que encuentren? Eh, péguenla en un documento Word o en, o en um, o una presentación PowerPoint. ¿Ok? Y ahí nos van a decir qué es lo que encontraron referente a las Double Edge Question Words. Ok, dijimos 10 minutos, ¿verdad? Ok, 10 minutos de investigar. Cuando terminen esos 10 minutos, voy a solicitar a voluntarios que nos expliquen que, de qué se trata eso de, de la Double Edge Question Words. ¿Ok? Teacher, eh, para los que estamos por medio de teléfono, ¿podría ser en un blog de nota y enviarle la captura de lo yeah. que hemos investigado? Ya, yeah, y maybe also, Luis. Ok, ok. Ok, so 10 minutos, okay. people. 10 minutos para que investiguen y que preparen. Okay, meanwhile you do so, I will check the list of tendons. Voy a pasar lista de asistencia. You say present, right? Okay, in a very quick way. Carlos Josué. Denise. Edgardo Daniel.
Edwin. Present teacher. Ellen Nilsson, thank you. Is Ellen Nilsson in the class? Esperanza. Present. Okay, Evelyn Janira. Present. Fátima Michel. Present. Gabriela Jazmín. So Jazmín is not here, it's not present. Henry. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jennifer Guadalupe. Jennifer. Juan Carlos Beltrán. Present, Present teacher. teacher. You're there. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Okay, I can see Julio Cesar. Carla Maria. Ladies. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Jose. Present Pude conectarlo. Dijo, Obe de Eliasa. No <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, Obe, soy here. Wendy Carolina. Present teacher. Wendy's there. William Aristides. So William is not over here. William. <laughs> Jennifer. Present teacher, Jennifer Guadalupe. Ah, okay, ah. Jennifer Guadalupe. Eh, Jennifer Guadalupe, present. Okay, Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay, now I think it's, it's enough. Well, uh, Edwin, uh, uh, Edwin, you got something there, right? Hey, teacher. Okay, five minutes more. Cinco minutos para que terminen de preparar la información de las double H question words. Okay, double H, question war, simple present. That's our topic tonight.
Okay, in a couple of minutes, then we I will ask some of you to help me. Okay, one minute, and then we start with the double H question words. Okay, I think the time was in 10 minutes, right? And let me see. Well, I, I need a volunteer, okay? I, I won't be like calling people, uh, but I need volunteers. Okay, double H question. Yeah, sure, Obed. Um, uh, uh, question word help uh, uh, further define and specific uh, question in uh, question in English. Um, uh, curiosity they are new and WH question since they are uh, reading way uh, WH like. Uh, like uh, what, when, and who. Uh, bueno, que, que, que ayudan pues para especificar y definir pues las preguntas, verdad. Ya. Yeah. Y se, 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 bueno, se escribe como, así como WH, como what, when, y who. When, y, when, bueno, where, dice que, who. Eh, when, where, why. Oh, so, who? Yeah, who? Um, uh, this, uh, you can use this question in present simple to ask about general facts and uh, true habits, schedules, uh, and, and much more. Se pueden usar las preguntas en present de simple para preguntar sobre verdades, eh, hábitos, horarios, dice. Como, okay. eh, por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, eh, what, eh, eh, what is, what is that, um, where, eh, que es donde, where is uh, her house, um, 
Uh, why? ¿Por qué? Como por ejemplo, uh, why are you a uh, a uh, what? Uh, algo así creo que se pronuncia. ¿Por qué está despierto? Un example ahí. Okay. Why are you? Bueno, eso lo... Yeah, yeah, that's right. Thank you, Obed. Very good. Now, we discovered that there are like who, what, when, where, among others, right? And that we can talk about um, schedules, about daily activities, etc. Thank you, Obed. Is there any other person who wants to participate? Ready, teacher. Uh, uh, solo quería la presentación en PowerPoint. Ah, okay. Just give me one second, please. Okay, Edwin. Now you can you can present. It's about uh, double H, the question. Who, why, what, how, when, which, where. Who. Who is used to us about the people? For example, who, who is he? He is my teacher. For example, the question, how are you? How is she? How is your best friend? How is Colin? Who wants some ice cream? Who asked who ask you to question? Who is faster? Who is the most beautiful? And one, what? What did you, you, you said to us about the team? For example, what did that? It's a pencil. Example the question. What is what it is? What is? What they easy? What is the water like? What do you want to eat? What are you doing? What time is it? What do you do? What does your fa father do? And when? When is used to us to ask about time? When does class start? If I start at three o'clock. Example the question. When is your birthday? When is the field the trip? When does movie start? When does train arrive? When do you do your homework? When are you free? When when were you born? When is your anniversary? When does the class? Finish. And where? Where is used to us as about the place? Where my my book? There are on the desk. Example of the question. Where is my pencil case? Where are my glasses? Where is the post the office? Where are you from? Where is she? Where is she from? Um, where is he from? Where are they from? Where do you work? Where do you want to go? Where is Canada on the, on the, on the map? We. We is used to us about the reason. We okay, are that, that, is, that is why. Sorry to why? interrupt, okay. Uh, Edwin. Okay, why? Why is used to us about the reason? Why are you so happy because I love English class. For example, why? Why are, are we? Why? Yeah, it's why, why, why? 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 Why are you sad? Why are you crying? Why are you lying? lying? Why are you late? Okay, give why me one was... second, please. In the previous one, they say, why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Laughing. 
Nothing. Yeah, laughing. Okay. Why are you laughing? All right. Why are you late? Why was Chris not at school yesterday? What are you running? With the people exercise, exercise. We do we need to study English? We why do, do? Think, why do what do you need to study in English? Good. Why do you think he did that? He did that. Okay. He that. In which which is you ask about the choice? Which one do you want? I want the real one. Example in the question, which one do you prefer? Which teacher do you like the most? Which of my book wall do you like to borrow? Which one is one is it? Which why is the is to the liberty? Which restaurant shall we go? Which shall we go to? Shall we go to? Good. Now. How? 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 Excuse me. How? Is you to us about the why something is down the condition on something or degree of something? Something. Something. Yeah, something. How were you vacation? It was great. Example on the question. How old are you? How are you? How tall is he? How big is the house? How far is the restaurant? How come I improving my English? How do you cook spaghetti? Spaghetti. How often do you exercise? Okay, there okay. is a short quiz right now. Is there any is is there any activity? No. Oh, okay. Okay, bien. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes, yes. Ajá. So, is my pencil, it's under the chair. Now, what would be the best option? Okay, Edwin, let us know the uh, way you solve it. Uh, where? Where is my pencil, right? Excellent. Where? Thank you. Where? Yeah, thank you. Is she? She's my sister. Uh, um, who? Okay, so include it. Okay, everybody, do me the favor to take notes. Who? Then, number three. What? What do you want to eat? Excellent. Hey, what do you want to eat? I want to eat. I want some pizza. Does the movie uh, start? When, when? When, all right? When does? When does the movie start? It starts in five minutes. The next one, uh, are you crying? Uh, why are why okay now yes why, why are you see crying why, why? crying uh, how how was the food okay how was the how food, was the food? One do you want uh, chocolate or vanilla ice cream uh, which which one do you want? Okay, it sounds good. Which? East bank. Go straight and turn left. Where? Where's, where's the, the bank? Yeah, where's the bank? Where? Where's the bank? And when? It's when your when birthday. Is your yeah. birthday? When's your birthday? It's on February. And why? 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 Why are you late? It's the finish. Good job. Good job. Okay. Uh, let me see. Now, uh, if it is possible, Edwin, for you to share the presentation to the group, it would be a, a really nice from you. Okay. Okay. In the chat. The yeah, it may be in the yeah. Share it through the chat or 
Yeah, I think it's that's the best okay. way. And what's up? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ahí en el chat ya lo compartí, Ticha. Oh, en thank el WhatsApp you. se lo voy a compartir a los compañeros también. Yeah, it's because uh, the information is quite good and it will be very useful in a couple of minutes. Okay. okay, let us move on then. Let's see what else do we have here. Well, now that, that we know about... Now that we know about uh, some WH question words, we have what, where, when, how do, and what. And maybe you, you can ask for a time like, what time do you take breakfast? And then you continue, right? Now, what do I do? I supervise the production of a workplace. Uh, where do you work? I work in an accounting department. When do you go to the meetings? When? We go to meetings two times a week. How do they plan uh, the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. And the last one, what time do you take a breakfast? I take a breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay, in some other words, we have uh, this double H question words, and now let us create questions in this part. Okay. Trabajemos en, en esta página, por favor, en la página 30. Now, over here, you are going to create questions based on the answers. Aquí van a crear preguntas. Por ejemplo, está la número uno, van a leer cuál de estas coincide con respecto a la profesión. In the number one, I have to write a report about the production every day. So what would be the question here? Page 30. Time to create questions. There's work in this part. If you just help me with the first one. Okay, it's better if you work it first. But tenemos cinco, vamos a invertir cinco minutos en esta parte.
Okay, let me know when you finish. You have only five questions over here. You are in charge of creating five questions. Uh, what do what do I do? Yeah, what well, in the first one we have I have to write a report about the production every day. So it would be like What do you have to do? Okay, that would be the first one, right? What do you have to do? Yeah, give me one second. Yeah. What do you have to do? All right, so that's the first. What about the second one? I work in the blue in a, in a blue building. I work in the blue building. What double H question word do we need to use here? Hello, hello. I work in the blue field. Hey, don't you think it's where? Where? Yeah, where? Mm -hmm. Where, where what? Where do you, where do you where work? Where do you have, how do you work? And, uh, it may be only where do you work? Where do? Where? Yeah, where do you work? Do you? Where do you work? So that's the second one, right? Now, what about number three? Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. Now you you are given the time. How how many? No, you you are given the time, right? We go. So it may be. What time? Maria, what time? What, yeah. what time, Maria and and I? What time do you? Start. Do you work? Okay, maybe. What time do you start working? What time do you start working? Okay, so Marienda start working at 10 p.m. Number four. We design and, and, and others create a new product. Any idea about this question? Uh, when do you... What product you create for you? you what kind of product? Mm. When do you product? No, but the, the, as you can see, the person uh, describes like um act activities right we design we create so i think it would be better if we say what who 
what do you do at work? Well, we design and others create a new product. What do you do at work? Number five, they have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Uh huh. So it seems to be like the what? first one, right? Hey, what do you have to do? Or why do they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting? So it would be better if we use this one. Why do they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting? They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Okay, now any questions about this part, people? A veces cuesta identificar qué tipo de... de, de... Question word. Con cual, ajá, con cual <laughs> iniciar. Yeah, but but according to the to the first, let's see. Veamos el primero. Cómo cómo, cómo identificamos qué tipo de pregunta se puede crear. Dice acá, tengo que escribir un reporte acerca de producción todos los viernes. What do you have to do? Y le podemos poner acá, mire. Every Friday. ¿Qué es lo que tú tienes que hacer cada viernes? Uh, well, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. This is a specific uh, one uh, option. Yeah, that's right. I mean... It's an open question, right? So what do you have to do every Friday? Okay, la persona habla del trabajo, ¿verdad? Pero realmente la pregunta es abierta y el día viernes mmm, tenemos muchas cosas que hacer, no necesariamente una en específico, pero viene la persona y le responde algo respecto a su trabajo. Ah, pudiera ser que, uh, well, I have to take uh, or I have to... I have to I have to to get home early. Tengo que llegar a casa temprano, for him, every Friday. So it all depends. So it all depends. But according to the information we have here, that is the best option. Esta es la mejor opción para crear la, la pregunta. I work in the blue building. Trabajo en el edificio azul. So what is the best option? Where? Donde? Where do you work? Uh, I work in the blue building. And what? El where funciona como, perdón, teach, como, yeah. una, como una posición, verdad? It, well, it's about place. It's about a place. Okay. When you use where, <laughs> it's because you, you want to know about a place. Uh -huh. Acerca de lugares. What time do you start working? Okay. Marienda está working at 10 p.m. Comenzamos a trabajar a las 10 de la noche. Entonces, la pregunta eh, más lógica o que concuerda con, con, el, con la respuesta es What time do you start working? ¿A qué horas comienzas a trabajar? ¿O qué horas comienzan? Sería acá. 
a trabajar. What time do you? Porque pudieran preguntar así también. ¿eh? What time do you and María? ¿A qué horas comienzas tú y María? What time do you start? What time do you and María start working? Okay, so it may, it may be possible. Puede ser posible también. María and I start working at 10 p.m. Teacher, pero ahí también podríamos, eh, bueno, inventar otra pregunta, como ponerle, eh, why, digamos, eh, why, si le queremos preguntar, eh, eh, ¿por qué no, no eh, salen conmigo a cenar, por ejemplo? Ajá, no, ok. Eh, y, y, ¿verdad? y ahí podría, y ahí podría responder, eh, María y yo, pues, trabajamos, we're working at the, the at 10 p.m. Yeah, okay, that's, sí. eso es muy interesante, miren. Por ahí, ver, ya él está, él está ya, este, como pensando en, en a lo mejor, más, sí, a lo mejor hay, hay algo previo a, a esta pregunta, como hacer otras preguntas, como alargar la conversación, ok, y eso está perfecto. So what time do you and Mary start working? Mary and I start working at, TPN, por, por, por ahí decía también, bueno, teacher, ¿y por qué no usamos el why? Ah, pongámoslo entonces. Why do you and Maria start working at 10? ¿Por qué comienzas a trabajar o comienzan a trabajar a, a las 10 de la noche? Ahí, entonces, ahí le cambiamos. Miren, en lugar de what time, pusimos why, por qué. It may be something different, right? Where do you start working? ¿En dónde comienzas a trabajar? Where do you start working at 10? ¿En qué lugar comienzas a trabajar a las 10? O sea, con esto podemos empezar a jugar con, con ideas, ¿verdad? Con nuevas frases. Podemos empezar a, a crear frases, a crear preguntas. Sorry. Bueno, son válidas, ¿verdad, teachers? Media vez le demos como que, como que la pregunta sea un poco coherente, quizás. Ya, yeah, no, I mean, eh, necesitan ser, este, um, necesitan tener conexión, ¿verdad? O sea, la pregunta y la respuesta. Si acá tengo presente simple, o sea, acá tengo que tener presente simple también. Ok, ok. Ajá, tienen que tener coherencia, tienen que estar bien bien creadas utilizando la gramática. So, look at this one. Miren por qué me fui con what do you do at work? ¿Qué es lo que tú haces en el trabajo? Ah, es que la respuesta era que diseña que diseñaban y que otras personas crean productos nuevos. What do they have a meeting? ¿Por qué tienen una reunión? Ah, they have a meeting because we have to talk. So it all depends, right? Now. Is there any question, people? Hay alguna pregunta, algo, o quisieran este, seguir practicando? Porque acá nos pide que creemos preguntas con double H words. Ok. Like, for example, we, when, when, where, why, and who. ¿Por qué no hacemos una oración con cada una de ellos? What, when, where, why, and who. Ok. Create one question. sentence. Tell me. Tell me, Edwin. Sí, sería bueno que, que, que hiciéramos unos ejercicios de eso. Ok, so, one question. Okay, sí, chef, ahí, question. Son, ahí son cinco, ¿verdad? What? Yeah, where, one, two, three, where, four, five. Why, who? Yeah, what, when, where, why, and who. Ok, create the questions, please. Sí, sure. 
فرمین where is your work place where do you work would be there yeah where do you work where do you work yeah where do you work is located no where do you work that's enough okay tell me uh, uh, what you what are you writing? What are you writing? Mm -hmm. What are you writing? Uh, yes. Okay, it is possible. What or what are you writing? ¿Qué es lo que está escribiendo? Okay. I mean that is that is that is present progressive. Eh, es una, esa, esa expresión está en otro tiempo, pero igual es posible, ¿verdad? Me interesa también que identifiquen las double H question words, ¿ok? Porque si ustedes se, se, se dan cuenta, hemos venido trabajando con presente simple desde positive statements, negative statements, just no questions, eh, expression with simple present, and now we have double H question words with simple present tense. Well, let me know when you finish. Who is your favorite actor or actress? Yeah, who's your favorite actor or who's your favorite actress? Good. But listen, listen, once again, uh, presente, Ese sería presente del verbo be. Ok. Who's your favorite? Who is? Ok. But remember, look at, the, look at the previous one. Veamos las que creamos acá. Miren. Estamos ocupando do. Y does. Si es tercera persona. Ok. Tratemos de hacer preguntas. Eh, utilizando el do o el does. Entonces, en este caso, voy a poner, where, where... What do you like food? What do you like food tonight? Uh, oh, okay. What... What do you like to eat? Oh, that would be better, right? Eat. What do you like to eat? <laughs> ¿Qué es lo que te gusta comer? What do you like, like to eat? To eat. Uh, what do you like to eat at night? ¿Qué te gusta comer en la noche? Or what do you what do you like to eat in the morning? ¿Qué te gusta comer en la mañana? In the morning. Yeah. What do? What do you? Yeah. What do you do in your free time? What do you? Edwin, sorry, I didn't listen to you clearly. What do you do in your free time? Ah, okay. Hey, what do you do in your free time? Good question. Uh, and where do you do live? Yeah, where do you live? That exactly. Where do you live? Where? When is the national day of your country? Okay, when's your when's the independence day in your country, okay, right? Okay. When's the independence day in your country? And we we go uh, we get back to present form of the verb be. Vol volvimos a utilizar la forma del del verbo be en presente. Okay, está bien. Pero okay. recuérdense okay. que enfoquémonos Un poquito en el uso del do y en el das. Okay. Enfoquémonos un poquito más ahí. Mm. We do you want to learn English? Okay, so why? Why do you why, why do, do you, you want, want? Yeah, why do you want English? to learn English? ¿Para qué quieres aprender inglés? Exactly, Edwin. Why do you want to learn English?
All right. Why do you want to learn English? And who What about who? Who, who do you ex who exercise is your with? Music. Who, who is calling? Hey. Who Who's is your favorite mu music? Okay, no. I I hear one that was, thank you. I hear, let right. me see. I think it was, let me see. Henry, what is the example you provided? Who? Uh, who do you exercise with? Okay. Who do who, you exercise do I... with? Uh, Perfect. Who, who does he work with? Who does he work with? Okay, pretty good. Who do you who do you exercise with? Con quien hace ejercicio? Or who do you work with? Con quien eh, trabajas? Good. Good. Well, you know. Who uh, is who is who is that man? Who's that man? Quien es ese hombre? Who's that man? Okay, good. Who are those people? Over, over there. Okay, who are those people over there? Who are those people okay. over there? ¿Quiénes son esas personas que están por allá? Who are? Okay. Yes, teacher. Do you like English? Do you, do you like English? Do you love English? Why, uh, why uh, do you oh, like? Why do you like English? Okay, good. You like English. Why? Yeah, uh, let me see. Henry? Uh, when do you want to meet me? When, when, when do you want to have a date with me? ¿Cuándo te gustaría que tuviéramos una cita? Okay, good. When? <laughs> Okay, and now we have a lot of a lot of things to do with simple present. Now remember to self-evaluate or auto-evaluate your performance. Now, are you able to describe duties and perform and, and activities people perform in the in their department? You say independently with occasional help or only with help. It's up to you. No hay alguna duda, algún comentario. Okay, otherwise, I will share something else. Voy a compartir otra cosa. Mm, no, I think, okay. I think we will continue with this part, but uh, so here, this is a conversation, right? Okay, there's a conversation between Kevin and Albert. So look at the questions Kevin asked. Hey, what do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me uh, move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is about? What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do at that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish? to work on Thursday or when does uh, when does he have free time okay so this is a, a conversation okay and where are the double h question words what is the first right
Okay, what is the first? Is there any other one? Why is the other one? What do you have to do on Thursday? Okay, answer. I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Okay, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does? Okay, I have here another double H. What does Mr. Bree have to do at the day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on? What? And this is the last part. I'm not sure what time does he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have free time? Oh, you see? More questions in English. Now, pick work. Do me the favor to solve this exercise. What are you going to do over here? Well, you need to work in uh, and scrambling the, the sentences. Okay, they are over here. Do you only, do you only have like four statements, right? There is not a lot of info, but only four or five sentences. Bardenen por favor estas preguntas y me las ponen en el chat, por favor. Okay, let's create the questions. Who can help me with the first one? What do or what does? What do? What does? Okay, so remember we're still dealing uh, with third person singular, so what does? That's it. What? Yeah, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Let me see in the chat. Exactly, Wendy. That's the way it is. What does Albert have to do on Thursday? Okay. Recording 
Okay, number two. Why do or why does Kevin need help? What is the question, number two, people? Why do Kevin need help? Okay, why do Kevin need help? Good. Number three, who do or who does you think is going to help Kevin? Question number three, people. Um, do you think it's about to help Kevin? Okay, who do you think? Let me see. Exactly, Wendy. Who well, does? Who? So you think is going to help carry? Yeah, who do you think is going to help Kevin? And the last one? What do or what does Mr. Reeves do on Thursday? Okay. Well, that's Okay, Wendy, you did it again. What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Good. Okay. Vamos a hacer una pausa. Para... Uh, I will stop uh, sharing. Okay, sorry. Eh, teacher, yo ya tengo las 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 preguntas que dejó ahí de tarea las cinco con con los referentes de los presentes simples que usted nos había puesto ahí. Okay, Luis. Se la sure. escribo ahí en el chat. Yeah, and also and also mention them. Yes. Okay, Luis. What, uh, teacher, what? Uh, are you going to share the, the questions? Luis va a compartir las preguntas que creó. Las, las, las comparto en el chat o se las digo verbal. Uh, ajá. So, verbal. say it orally. That's right. Uh, yes. Uh, what are you doing, uh, Tony? Esa sería la primera. La pregunta. The, la segunda es, when we come to go to the beach way, take soundtrack. La tercera sería, when we go be on March 30. Three times sería, en este caso. La cuarta, la cuarta sería, we do, we do jam work advice. 
where where the art can feel. Y la quinta sería walk or hear. Use a gram for the busing in what to start. Se la voy a escribir también ahí en el chat. Okay, Luis, I really appreciate it. Okay, now, you know what, people? We're going to spend exactly like 30 minutes working in the midterm. Eh, una consulta. ¿Todos trabajaron ya el midterm? ¿Todos pudieron resolver el examen? Teacher, eh, acerca de lo, de lo del libro, ahorita de lo que ha estado, bueno, usted ha estado escribiendo ahí, yo no sé, pero no puedo editarlo, no, no me deja escribir, igual lo mismo me sucedió el día de ayer, bueno, de antier, perdón, porque ayer no me pude conectar este, con el compañero, con Carlos, que estuvimos, que me, todo se me, se me descoordinaba, entonces no sé cómo puedo hacer en este caso. Uh, yo creo que al general, uh, ayer dio problemas Zoom, por eso es que ahora no, no hice este grupos, entonces si ustedes se fijan hoy no, no hemos tenido mucho problema de conexión, así que pues por el momento vamos a estar trabajando de esta manera. Eh, well, uh, let's do something, vamos a hacer algo. Voy a compartir pantalla para ver los ejercicios de la plataforma del midterm. Okay, this is this is a mid term, right? Okay, in, in the in the part one, you encounter instructions such as reading carefully and choosing the best option. In the first one, I have Michelle floor manager. What is the best option? Michelle is a floor manager. Okay, thank you. Number two, he a floor manager. He's not a floor manager. He's not a floor manager. Number three. I am. I am an assembler. Okay, I'm an assembler. Number four. No, we are not. Uh, no, we aren't, right? Yes. Uh, two. Have you said number two? Yes. No, we are not. Yeah, that's right. No, we're not. Number five. Are, you, are your bosses here? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Number one, well, this is the first part, right? Let us check the answers and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, we did it. Now, next part. Eh, teacher, Hello? se le escucha, se le escucha bien, bien bajo el, el micrófono. Sí. 
como no, no, no estoy utilizando el bífono. <risa> ok, I will try to speak uh, a little bit uh, louder, ok? Pero creo que hay, hay un poco de interferencia. Ok, creo que ahora sí escuchan mejor. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Uh, well, this was the first part, right? Next part. So the first part, second part. Is this one, right? Espero que es... Si este, no han completado, que lo puedan hacer en estos momentos. Now, instructions. Choose the best choices for the following question. The best um, choices. What layer oh, comes P. before Q? P. 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 Letter P. P. How many layers are there in the English alphabet? 26. Eight. 26. Which are the vowels? La segunda. A. A. E. 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 I. I. O. 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 U. 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 Okay. Number four, our teacher is from Canada. Wrong. Right. Is it right? Or not? right. <laughs> and wrong. Okay, okay, let's see if it is wrong. Their class is at night. Right. Right. Let's okay, check, please. Good. So the second the second part is also right. So there's no any problem over right here. Let's move on to the next part. Teacher. Hello. In the, uh, uh, in the number, uh, the number four, me parece mal. Me, me parece wrong. Ah, uh, really? That's right. A teacher, uh, well, it, it all depends, right? Okay. Yeah. Our teacher from Canada, Canada. Well, actually, yeah. Let me see. Okay, next part. The second part, right? Part number three from the midterm instructions. Go over the sentences and check the right use of the verb be. My boss are Elmer Argueta. Is that right? So my, my boss, boss is, is Elmer Argueta. Elmer Argueta. Number two. Nadia and Rita is the new teachers. R. R. Are the new teachers. We are secretaries. We are. We are secretaries. Now here, you need to unscramble the sentences in present simple. Then we have to type it. Sería she, she, she doesn't, doesn't, doesn't she speak don't Portuguese. speak Portuguese. She doesn't, she doesn't speak Portuguese. 
portugués. Teacher, esta, esta pregunta yo la revisé hoy por la tarde. Y, y este siempre esta, no sé por qué me da error y la escribo tal cual usted la está refiriendo en este momento. Ok. No. Creo que por el, el, el punto al final, ¿verdad, teacher? Puede ser por dos yes, cosas. Yes, yes, Edwin. Eh, eh, I am, eh, eh, sí, se, se lo, lo, lo coloco, pero a saber por qué me dio error. Yo creo que es la única que tengo pendiente ahorita. No será también por la, la mayúscula del principio. El she tiene que llevar mayúscula. En GP. No, she. She does, she. doesn't. Ajá, correcto, en la primera. Oye, voy, 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 a, voy a corroborarlo ahorita. Porque no he dejado media, gente. Pero exactamente por esa pregunta. Ok. So, do me the favor to close the microphones. Hágame el favor de cerrar micrófonos para, para que no se oiga tanta inter, interrupción. Ok, gracias. Va, hay, hay dos cosas, yo les decía, miren. Puede que usted no haya escrito la primera letra en mayúscula, es una posibilidad. La otra posibilidad es que todos los países, los nombres de los países también se usa mayúscula. Y por último, el punto. Si usted no pone el punto, se la puede tomar de manera equivocada. Now, what about number two? Uh, number five, right? Don't computers we use? We don't use computers. We don't use, we don't use computer. computer. We don't use computers. Okay, period. Okay, let's see if we have if we if we have committed a mistake. Vamos a ver si no nos equivocamos en algo. Okay, take a look at this one. Okay. My boss are Elmer Argueta. Ah, uh -uh. my boss is Nadia and Rita is the new teachers. Okay, Nadia and Rita are. We am, no, we are. And this is the part that you were talking about. Esta es la parte que tenían dudas algunos. Miren, está la respuesta. She doesn't speak Portuguese. And then last one, we don't use computers. Okay, so we didn't have any problem, right? Ya ven, no tuvimos problemas. Listo, listo, lo, lo voy a corregir ahorita. Ok, please, please. Ok, is there any question about this part? This is the third part, we're missing only, let me see. We're missing one part. Part number one, number two, number three. And number four. Okay, read the, read the questions, then check the proper way to answer them. Example, do you like music? Yes. I do. Yes, I do. Does Zara know English? No, she doesn't. Do you in in Vendel play the guitar? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Does she brush her teeth before going to bed? Yes, she does. Actually, we we don't have right. Yes. She does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Do you take the bus at seven? Yes, we do. Yes. Yes, I do. 
Yes, we do, right? Uh, we do. Yeah, yes, we do. Okay, this is as far. Let us check the answer. Okay, so you see, we didn't have any problem with it. Ya ven, si las tuvimos todas de manera correcta. Did you take the bus at seven? Yes. Okay, so. Is there any question about these people? Solo a mí en la, en la, en la número tres, teacher, de la, de, en, la, en, la, en el ejercicio tres, las últimas dos me las pone malas. Eh, en, en la parte tres. Sí, en, en, la, en las últimas dos, al, al generar las oraciones. Ok. Veamos. Mm, si usted se dio cuenta, no, no, no teníamos, no nos hacía ninguna observación. Aquí están las respuestas. Miren. Veamos, colóquela, por favor. Colóquelas así, tal cual como están. Sí, correcto. Las estoy co co cortando y pegando. Pero no, no me aparece a mí aquí completa la oración. Veamos. Vamos a hacer algo para comprobarlo. Se lo voy a compartir en el chat. Ok. Cópielo y péguelo, por favor. Y me dice si siempre le da problema. Teacher, así como usted las ha puesto ahorita, así las tengo yo y siempre me está dando problema. Ajá, ya la copié y la pegué y lo mismo me salió. Vaya, entonces, si, sí. eso, si eso es así, coloquemos este, un mensaje ahí en el, en el WhatsApp sí. para sí. que los compañeros... Vamos, voy a, voy a este, eh, tomarle una captura de pantalla para poderle enviar también en el okay. WhatsApp. Ok, ok. He, eh, Henry Sí, quizás eh, yo tuve problemas igual con esas dos y estuve ahí haciendo todo lo posible, entonces en algunos casos, aunque siempre por lo general llevan punto al final, pero fíjese que alguna de esas no no sé ah. qué pasó en la plataforma pero yo le quité el punto y me la aceptó no sé si ah. ese mismo problema le estoy dando a los compañeros Gracias, Henry. Probemos ese, entonces sin el punto, a lo mejor. Este tiene ese detalle, ese ejercicio. Ah, miren, Hola, Wendy. Dice Wendy dice que tuvo problemas y lo único que hizo fue actualizar la página. Con eso entiendo que, que lo solventó, Wendy. Sí, y yo intenté de una mil formas hasta la puse. Solo le di como actualizar la página y ya la primera me Ah, ok. Ok, veamos entonces esas opciones. Sí, siempre es lo mismo, me da Fitich. Va, entonces, sí, este. Teacher, yo al final le puse punto a las dos, las dejé así y les puse punto al final y ya me salieron correctas. Punto al final. Uh -huh, y ya me salieron correctas. Sí, entonces sí. sí y, eh... Igual yo ya les quité, me salió malo, le puse otra vez y igual me salió. Y ya verificó Edwin la, las, las mayúsculas. Sí, correcto, la primera y la de, de sí y portugués. Ah, ok. Y el punto también. No sé. ¿Y qué tal con el apóstrofe? 
porque este apóstrofe creo que nos puede dar problema también. Pero es que portugués es, es idioma, no es país. Quizás tiene que ser minúscula. No, es mayúscula. Ma es mayúscula siempre. Sí. Yo, yo la Lo... puse minúscula y no contractada la palabra, sino que completa, das not. Y me la aceptó. Ok. So, qué curioso, qué curioso que les ha aceptado varias opciones y las que están aquí no les ha aceptado. Sí, porque igual ahorita le cambié ya la P minúscula y lo mismo me dio. <ríe> ok. So, well, realmente sí, sí, sí. Me, nos, me ponen en duda porque, porque algunos dicen que sí les aceptó, otros dicen... que no les acepto, entonces no, no sé cuál realmente es el, la equivocación. Pero si no lo logran solventar por, y es algún detalle de, de edición, pues entonces coloquemos que no podemos, que no pudimos solventarlo. Y que no agarraban ninguna, ninguna de las opciones propuestas para que los compañeros técnicos puedan, puedan verificar que todo está bien. Ok, de esa manera lo podemos hacer. Bueno, realmente... Ya tenemos nuestra primera eh, evaluación. Espero que todos lo hayan logrado realizar. Y pues la nota mínima saben que es el 80%, ¿verdad? De igual manera... Uh, well, I will stop sharing this. De igual manera, este, voy a, voy a, a pasar lista así... Ya pasé lista una vez, pero veo que se conectaron algunos otros eh, luego. Ocho o nueve. Ok, Carlos Josué. De Denise, Edgardo, voy a mencionar las personas que no, que no, que les había puesto ausente. Ellen Nilsson, Gabriela Jazmín. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok, Jennifer Guadalupe. En William Aristides. Well, I think it's all right. Okay, some some pieces of advice. Some pieces of advice. Well, now that we have finished, we have finished our second week. Veamos este, algunos avances que hay, hay, hayamos tenido. Si este, quieren hacer alguna recomendación, pues háganlo. Si quieren ayudarse unos con otros y darse alguna recomendación también de cómo estudiar, qué es lo que le está funcionando a usted eh, para aprender inglés rápido, pues lo pueden compartir acá y decirle a los demás, miren, este, a mí me funciona hacer esto. Yo, yo he encontrado esta página, yo he encontrado esta, 
aplicación, eh, se las puedo compartir en el WhatsApp, cualquier cosa que nos, que nos ayude a mejorar el idioma o nuestro aprendizaje en el idioma es bienvenido. Entonces, ocupemos estos cinco minutos porque vamos a hacer que vamos a ocupar esos cinco minutos para reflexionar. ¿Cómo entraron hace dos semanas? Y si, es, si han visto algún avance, mucho avance, poco avance, o pues el, el, el ritmo es más o menos. Coach me mencionó Jennifer Madali, es que estaba revisando lo del, lo del examen y creo que no escuché. Give me one second, Jennifer. Ya, yeah, Jennifer. Sí, Jennifer, acá está ya. Ah, yeah. Igual yo, teacher, yo no escuché tampoco. No, lo mencionaba. Algunos no los mencioné porque pasé lista, si se fijaron, al inicio. Entonces, ahí había, ya había anotado de quienes estaban este, al inicio, desde el inicio. Entonces no los mencioné porque justamente estoy viendo que, que sí siguen acá en la clase. Ok. Ok. Vaya, ¿alguna recomendación para, para ustedes o para la clase en general? ¿Cómo han sentido estas dos semanas? ¿Si han visto avances? ¿Cuán significativos han sido? ¿O si hay que enmendar algo? Y... Eh, trabajar de manera diferente. ¿Cuánto tiempo están invirtiendo en el aprendizaje del idioma? ¿Solo son las dos horas por la noche o están este, de alguna manera repasando durante el día? ¿Quién me ayuda a, a, a dar alguna sugerencia? Eh, eh, no personal, teacher. Eh, bueno, yo sí he aprendido muy poquito. La verdad que yo estoy prácticamente... De, con, de no conocer nada y, y sí he sentido el cambio porque algunas cosas tal vez no las puedo pronunciar, pero ya le encuentro el sentido Va, digamos, cuando usted deja la tarea el web, el web, el web todo eso, ahora yo ya le encuentro el sentido, ¿va? no es como cuando anteriormente a la clase que yo escuchaba y, y nada, pues este, he aprendido muy poquito y les soy honesto, estoy practicando mucho y mi, por lo menos en los pocos ratos que yo puedo por mi trabajo, que es algo demandante, este, en el traductor, lo que hago que en el traductor me pongo ahí a, a hacer las preguntas, así como usted los ejercicios que nos dejó. Por cierto, las que saqué ahorita, ahí las estaba, las estaba poniendo y, y las escribo hasta el cual están. Lo malo es que no lo puedo pronunciar, <ríe> que me quedo. Pero sí, eh, yo en lo personal he eh, aprendido y le agradezco mucho, teacher, ahí la paciencia. Ok, con respecto a, a la dificultad de pronunciación, eh, pues hay páginas, hay diccionarios que traen este, la pronunciación de cada palabra. O si usted utiliza el traductor, puede digitar que si es una pregunta, la digita en el traductor y por ahí le da un, hay un icono que le reproduce la oración. Entonces, por ahí podemos ir este, utilizando las herramientas tecnológicas para aprovecharlas al máximo. ¿Algún otro comentario, sugerencia? Yes, I am not teacher. Solamente uh, todo bien. Ok, Luis, thank you. Yo, teacher. Henry. 
Sí, eh, pues como decía el compañero, eh, en mi caso siento que he aprendido algunas palabras en cuestión de pronunciación, que ni idea cómo se pronunciaban, y ya hoy, aunque sea un poquito, le comprendo de lo que va hablando. <risa> eh, quizá por cuestiones del tiempo, porque ya llevo dos semanas saliendo de la mañana y viniendo ya noche, No me queda chance de como de practicar, pero a veces en el camino lo que hago es sacar el teléfono y meterme a Duolingo para por lo menos no perder ahí, como dicen, la costumbre. Así de que ahí vamos queriendo avanzar Fíjese. y se le agradece también a usted la paciencia y todo lo que Uh aporta -huh. para nosotros. Fíjese que la, la, la alegría de nosotros los docentes es ver los avances en nuestros estudiantes. Eso es lo más bonito que le puede pasar a un, a un docente, ¿verdad? Y yo por eso siempre les, les digo a mis, a mis participantes, a mi grupo, yo les digo, no se queden solo con las dos horas de, de las sesiones de, de cada noche, ¿verdad? Sino que Por ahí, si ustedes se ponen este, a, a curiosear en las, en las aplicaciones de la Play Store, ahí van a encontrar aplicaciones donde hay historias en inglés, las pueden ir leyendo, las pueden ir escuchando. Este, hay aplicaciones de ejercicios, de ir completando. O sea, hay una variedad vasta de material en inglés. Y como decían por ahí, este, yo sé que son personas muy ocupadas, Pero este, quizás en algún momento, pues unos 15, 20 minutos diarios que se puedan invertir extra, pues ya eso es ganancia, ¿verdad? Ya es ganancia. Ok. ¿Is there any other um, comment? Sí, en mi caso, a mí me uh, siento que me ha ayudado bastante también a reforzar lo del inglés. Y bueno, igual que no me queda mucho tiempo de practicarlo, pero al escuchar la clase, digamos, del día anterior, ya siento que es bastante como refuerzo. Y igual también ver otras páginas u otras cosas, eso ayuda bastante también. Y gracias por su paciencia, teacher. Muy Ok, bueno. okay thank you, Carla. Ok, estamos a la mitad. Diga, Edwin. Este, yo, bueno, primeramente agradecerle a usted por la paciencia que, que ha tenido con todos nosotros, también a, a todos los compañeros, agradecerles por, por el apoyo que, que nos hemos brindado cada uno de nosotros, ¿verdad? Sí. A veces no podemos hacer, en este caso, el, el problema que hemos tenido con el ejercicio, pues ahí nos hemos estado ayudando y, y ha sido de mucha ayuda en, entre todos, pues, ¿verdad? De, de poder estar compartiendo y conociendo a nuevos a nuevos amigos, porque ya hemos hecho un, un nuevo grupo de amigos, ¿verdad? Y quizás Así. algún día, pues, podamos eh, quizás estar ya presenciales, ¿no? Sí. Pudiendo compartir algo todos, aunque sea un breakfast por ahí, Sí, sería con un genial. cafecito, Estaría ¿verdad? genial. Y, Estaría genial. y, y pues, eh, eh, quizás, como dice usted, ¿verdad? buscar eh, audios, eh, material para que nos podamos nosotros reforzar y, y Más que todo, quizás sería la, la pronunciación de, la, de las palabras que, que nosotros tenemos que, que desenvolvernos para poder expresarnos bien, pues para que nos puedan entender el, el idioma tal como es, ¿verdad? Sí, yo lo que, lo que les, les sugiero es que también comprendamos, ¿verdad? Ahorita estamos a un nivel básico. Realmente las actividades que, que yo les he, o, o, o los retos que yo les he puesto, pues ustedes los han desarrollado, ¿verdad? Y, y algunos no han sido tan sencillos, ¿verdad? Otros, pues quizás los hicieron un poquito, los han sentido un poquito más, más fáciles, ¿verdad? Pero de eso se trata, no quedarse ni con lo más fácil ni con lo más difícil, sino que ir tratando de balancear eh, eh, el proceso. Eh, por otra parte, pues de, también les digo que las puertas para aprender en el, el segundo idioma, ustedes solo necesitan dar un clic ahí a la, a, a la información correcta y les aseguro que van a empezar a aprender súper rápido, a, a adquirir vocabulario, pronunciación, etc. Pero quienes tienen la llave son ustedes, porque ustedes manejan su tiempo 
eh, de acuerdo a las actividades que ustedes realizan. Yo pues nada más tengo la, la dicha de tenerlos acá dos horas por la noche, pero ya lo que sucede en el día, pues ustedes saben cómo manejan sus tiempos y pues por ahí algún espacio pueden, pueden aprender algo. Bueno, creo que con eso nos quedamos en esta noche y nos vemos la otra semana, si Dios permite. Dicho, yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Hasta qué número íbamos a llegar del examen? El examen hay que completarlo. Eh, todas, la, todas las partes, Jessica, ya esta semana. O sea, hoy es último día. Ok. Ok. Gracias. Ok. So... Hasta la número nueve. Tarea nueve. Sí. La, pero estoy hablando del midterm, del midterm, de, de, de la evaluación que nos piden para esta semana. Eso tiene, no, que, no. Estar, tiene que estar completo. ¿verdad? Las cuatro ya las, partes que hicimos. Perfecto. Sí, ya la sección 3 es la que vamos a trabajar la otra semana. Mm. Ok. Eso de la plataforma, teacher. Sí. En el caso de, del manual, este, ese, bueno, yo lo he ido llenando y algunos por eso no los he enviado porque los saqué impreso y acá lo voy llenando eh, a mano. Entonces, en ese caso, no sé si tendría que escanearlo, enviarlo. O... No, no, eso solo, solo lo vamos a chequear acá en la clase. ¿verdad? Sí, porque sí lo he estado verificando también cuando se resuelve con el grupo. Y... Si, si, si ustedes se fijan las tareas que yo asigno, pues, Quizás se me habrá quedado alguna por ahí que no revisé. Y yo ya sé cuál es. Fue la, un documento Word que les compartí. Pero de igual manera, o sea, eh, envié esa actividad, pero envié una o dos más actividades similares. Entonces ahí complementé. Pero este, si ustedes se fijan en las clases, siempre pido que compartan la tarea. O sea, yo estoy revisando tarea constantemente. Yeah. Ok. Bueno, no. You welcome. Nos quedamos por acá. Que descansen. Que tengan un feliz fin de semana. Gracias, igual para usted, teacher, y para okay. todos los compañeros. Okay. Gracias, Gracias, igual. Okay. Bendiciones, compañeros. Bendiciones. Gracias. 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 Grac